as soon as a person is diagnosed with diabetes, they are educated as to diabetes complications, some of which include hypoglycemia, liver complications, ketoacidosis and type 1 diabetes complications. All of this must be taken very seriously. People absolutely must follow physician instructions as to medications, diet and exercise. Too many young people see not taking their medications as an easy solution, but deadly. Too weight loss. Your diabetes symptoms are not a gift, but an important warning that something is wrong with your body. When diabetes hits a person early in life, as in childhood, it is most likely type I diabetes. Type I complications include reducing a person's lifespan by 5 to 8 years, vascular, blood vessel, abnormalities, nerve damage, neuropathy, damage to organs, eyes, kidneys, liver, heart. A type 1 diabetic must be very careful to monitor their blood sugar, especially if they are insulin dependent, as they must be cautions for hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Symptoms include sweating, trembling, hunger, and rapid heartbeat. Severe hypoglycemia can cause neurologic symptoms like confusion, weakness, disorientation, combativeness, and in a worst case scenario, coma, seizure or death. Diabetes is a very serious disease, be it type I or the second diabetes complications can be an inconvenience and frustrating, but if ignored can lead to death. Not too many people think of diabetes complications to the liver. High blood sugar levels can scar the liver and can cause damage. What is commonly called a non-alcoholic cirrhosis, obesity and high cholesterol also increase risks of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. It is rare, but some of the medications used to treat the high cholesterol levels may cause damage to your liver. It is imperative that your doctor run liver function blood tests at regular intervals. Your best defense against liver disease is 1. Tight control of sugar levels 2. Maintaining a healthy weight 3. Reducing high cholesterol and 4. Avoid consumption of alcohol Ketoacidosis is another diabetes complication. It happens when the body produces high levels of blood acids called ketones. This happens because you don't have enough insulin to help the sugar break down as energy. So the sugar just lays there, and you use fat as an alternative fuel, and alternatively, toxic acids form in the bloodstream called ketones. This is what leads to diabetes. Signs of ketoacidosis are as follows. Excessive thirst, frequent urination, nausea and vomiting, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, weakness or fatigue, shortness of breath, fruity scented breath and confusion. Learn more at diabetes-complications.net